Corn soil. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I, uh, I, I hate to uh, fly. I don't fly. The last time I flew was 1994 when this story took place. And uh, I don't travel very far either. So I, I'm cool with driving to the eastern shore and that's about, or up and down the coast a little bit and that's about as far as I go so far. But uh, this is about going to uh, Jamaica. Uh, for my uh, honeymoon at the point in time that I was married. So we, uh, it was 1994 and uh, we flew into uh, Kingston and uh, landed and um, you know waiting for us uh, uh, was one of those uh, vans that carries you know anywhere between eight and ten people and all the luggage in it and even though the vans look um, dilapidated or whatever it's it's kind of got that romantic feel because you know you're going to be traveling across like a little foreign caribbean island and get to your your hotel and uh so we got on this uh got on this van and uh it was about 30 to 45 minutes of uh hellacious travel uh the roads are wide enough for one and a half cars so you, every time a car comes the other way, that makes two, and you never know really what's going to happen. So um, luckily, uh, riding shotgun uh, was an authentic uh, American. Now, when I say an authentic American, I mean the one that wants to be loud and, uh, and annoying and speak so that everybody on the van can hear him uh, with whatever he's doing. So he is uh, accosting or talking to the driver and uh, just asking about sites and all this other stuff. And uh, he eventually looks down and sees this blue uh, shopping ba plastic shopping bag. And he's just, you know, you can tell he's being, he, he's, you know, he, he says in a sarcastic way, oh, is, is that your weed? And the driver's just like, yeah, man. <laughs> and he's like, oh, um, uh, can, can I see it? And he's like, yeah, man. And he like, picks up the bag, and sure enough, he pulls out, <laughs> pulls out a branch of, uh, <laughs> of cannabis about that long, about that round and wide. It was the Almost, to, to date, it's the largest I've ever seen because I've, I've never made it to Colorado where obviously you can see that nowadays. But, uh, and uh, I was 24 years old. Uh, I had been uh, liking cannabis for about three years. <laughs> and, uh, you know, my wife was not a partaker, but uh, either way, I, I saw that and I thought, okay, well, when in Rome. Right? So 30, 45 minutes go by, and uh, all I can think about is, I got to ask this driver if I can have some of that. <laughs> so we, we get to our hotel, and uh, I said to my wife, hey, go in and check us in, because uh, this guy was going to have to do unload all the luggage by himself. And I thought, what, a, what better way to butter him up than to help him out? So. Uh, everyone is, um, I'm unloading the uh, luggage and I'm also collecting his tips from the uh, other passengers. <laughs> so I've, you know, I've got one hand with a fi I got fistful of cash and I'm like doing this and I'm doing this and uh, he gets uh, done and I said, um, hey, uh, if I, I said, I have your tips here. I said, if I give you uh, a little bit extra, do you think I could uh, maybe score some of that, that, that bud you have there? And he said, uh, yeah, man, no problem. So I you know, gave, him, gave him a little bit extra than everybody else was. And instead of reaching into the, uh, this blue bag, he reaches in under his driver's seat and pulls out this little box and then pulls out a tiny yellow plastic bag and produces something that looks... Uh, if, if, if you've ever seen pictures of it, you know, it's, uh, the, the first one looked like an Oldsmobile and the second one looked like uh, a Cadillac. <laughs> so 
And uh, it ended up, if you, if you know anything about cannabis, it, uh, it was, um, anybody here know anything about cannabis? <laughs> well, it was, it was the famous lamb's bread, uh, the strain that Bob Marley or Peter Tosh enjoyed, you know. And um, so anyway, I, uh, that was fast. <laughs> so uh, I ended up getting that and um, decided uh, to bring the, uh, I decided that I was going to, um, he also gave me the largest pack of rolling papers I'd ever seen, something about <laughs> that long. They were seriously for spleefs, I guess. And uh, I did, um, at the end of our stay, uh, there was a, a lot left over because it was, it was strong. And uh, I did decide to try and bring foreign soil back <laughs> into the country. And uh, I thought I wanted to see if I was uh, smarter uh, than the uh, customs. And I was. <laughs> I uh, took some Band-Aids and uh, round this little plastic bag real tight. And I stuck it in my shampoo, uh, Herbal Essence. And uh, anyway, I brought some foreign soil back. Thank you. 